Hello there. Gonna play a Legionary Cage match. We gotta get that banner up. That sweet, sweet banner. So, I'm gonna play. This legionary cage match here, and Dr. Steelhammer agreed to play, or more specifically, he requested it, and I was glad to do it. Um, right, so we'll just play games, I guess, until we're bored. Uh, looking at the board, <clears throat> it's not very good for Legionary. Uh, looks pretty much like a cultist thing to me, to be honest. Um, Militia's okay, I guess. I went with the gear. Uh... He hit five. Um, I hit five. He just hit five once. That's not so bad. <clears throat> His cultist did miss, though. I guess, like, IgG is pretty good too. Probably. I don't think, I don't think gold is better. <coughs> We didn't hand the runes out very fast here. Well, except for this turn. Jeez. Alright, so I probably got six of them. Maybe seven. I wasn't really wasn't really counting. Um Okay. Sorry, I'm sort of fiddling with my video stuff. Just hit seven here, which is no good. I may draw dead, but I guess I'm going to play it. Yeah, that was fine. So, I'm going to get another gear. I mean, at some point, the Duchy is just better than more IGGs. Right? I'm going to get one silver here, though. <coughs> Second seven, it's not good. We could probably just go ahead and resign this one. But I suppose we'll play it out. Just play the turns really fast, it won't matter. Um. This is province. Hmm. <laughs> 
No reason to play the Rune Library, really. He has a better deck than me, so there's a reasonable shot at him just buying Province again. Yeah. Oh well. If he gets another province, I will stop. Here is a, well, not great, but maybe okay. <clears throat> nope. So that didn't work. Uh, he's just gonna run the curses. So the first one is his. I could have resigned it, but it wasn't taking too long anyway. Okay, another pretty terrible one. Hmm. This is not a very interesting board, at least in my mind. Maybe it is, but I guess you just get minions. I mean. <clears throat> You can forge. But it's not that exciting. You gotta forge a bit. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Guess the question is when do you get, s or if you get smugglers? And if you get, um, I guess if you get smugglers or if you get expedition. Okay, I'll just buy a forge here. Uh, I don't know that the possession, well, possession may still be good. I will keep that. going much better for me right now he may get his forge here I guess I'll attack him Ooh. Could be a platinum, but this is all right. Maybe we'll just ignore possession by a gentleman's unspoken gentleman's agreement. We 
Maybe he had bought his forge a while ago and I just didn't see it. Um, I would like to try and forge if possible. This is not exactly the hand I want. I could get the potion. I mean, <clears throat> it's probably the best, it's probably the best, uh, Um, terminal here. I'm not sure. It's not like incredible, it's just, you know, it's extra gains. <clears throat> Get a cartographer, I assume. Yep. Uh. Hmm. Did not really work. Expedition is really not very good. Uh, hopefully, minions me here. Otherwise, we'll just forge into a gold. So at that point, the deck will be pretty good. Pretty trashed. Yeah, I'll be able to buy possession here. Hopefully, and forge something. Could have tossed one of the minions into the shuffle, but uh, I guess if I discard, I don't get to possession. So we will take the possession. Maybe it would have been better to do one more forge. There, I'm not positive. All right, he whiffs. I am still ahead on trashing. If I get a good trashing opportunity, I probably will take that. But any terminal doesn't really play all that well in the deck because of the no villages. And the way the minion draw works, it doesn't really lend itself to playing, say, a terminal at the end of your turn or anything. Okay, he buys delves. Those are just going to lose for him. Um no good I mean I guess the idea is that he's making his deck really bad or something but it doesn't doesn't matter um I could get a seven I guess this is not a very good hand uh, <coughs> I guess if I buy expedition I draw him cards so there's not a great, there's not really anything great I can get here. Possession maybe was just really stupid. I could believe that easily. 
I would love for him to put a colony in his deck as long as he has that uh, um, as long as he has that uh, forge in there Uh, so I could play possession. He's probably got a couple minions in his hand. Um, but not. Not forge. I'm even happier that he puts a province in there with it too. I may be just gifting myself a total dud hand here, but that's all right. I could just take I'd have to be tracking his deck a lot better to play this correctly. He buys a possession. Okay. I'm going to keep getting these cartographers uh, in the somewhat naive hope that it'll pay off. It, it may be better for him. That was pretty nice. Uh, he may get more out of his possession than I do. I'm not sure. Hopefully he just plays the possession because this hand's garbage. <clears throat> he can buy province with it, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> this is even. This is a board where possession is not actually that great, but it's still annoying. It's just annoying because it makes a game last forever. So he's still on this. Uh... Wow. Okay. It's a lot of money things. I mean, I guess I'll attack him. It's not that great. Uh, I would like to get... the possession. Alright, this is perfect. I think this is what I want to do. That was a perfect draw. Okay, so I can just take a province. Since I didn't get anything else with the forging. He has a colony hand, which I assume he'll just buy. Colony. Yeah. Seems reasonable. <coughs> uh, I have four dollars going into this. I guess I can just see if I draw a platinum in this hand and another dollar. Nope. So we don't get there. Um, I 
I'm not really sure how to play this hand because it may get discarded and that's probably what I want. Pretty bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Fortunately, he doesn't. I guess the cartographer may draw him something. I just hope not a colony. Um. Yeah, so he can take the province or he can, I guess he can double province. He may do that. Yeah, so he's going to double province. Um, okay. So I finally hit that jackpot, which is cool. Hopefully he doesn't have his possession in his hand here. Okay, so I've got another colony by already here. Uh, this is probably not a shuffle worth triggering unless I can get forge and double province that's the only that would be the only reason to try it is just to win now um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna get to We'll just go for it. I mean, why not? Uh, we should probably want a province in hand. But there are more in there. This is probably quite silly play. Uh, okay. So that didn't really hurt me too much, but it wasn't ideal. I did get to attack him, and I'm not possessing him here, so. Uh, I don't think I want to mill a colony. This is all right. Again, the trouble, or the, I guess the fear here would be that he can um, double province. He can just call out colony, which he will. Uh, Yeah. I can get to 58. I can also I can also get to 61 not play anything though that well he can't mill well he probably can um, this is really just counting on him having a garbage turn
which he did okay he buys a copper that's pretty weird I don't know what to do with this hand he's got a five card hand <clears throat> I'm going to take the possession play and he's got eight so it worked out uh, it was a real weird one though so their possession was pretty fun the only thing it was bad about the only unfun thing was just it took forever but that's all right well here we've got cultists but we've got lots of uh ways to fight it so we can just try that I don't really know how to do saunas an ambassador it's a confusing one to me how to balance that I may go silver ambassador I think the attacks are maybe not a huge deal here. So you just go Silver Sauna. Um, that's all right. It may work out. If you get the trashing, you know, then you're pretty happy. I whiffed on my ambassador, but that's okay. He gets a hunting party. I get a, a well, potentially a couple of trashes here, though I don't know if I'll take them or not. Hopefully he whiffed on silver still. No, he gets one. Oh, he has a couple. Oh, yeah, I just can't read. Uh, okay. So I was all right. So he can play two terminals, I can play one. Or sorry, he can play three terminals, I can play two terminals, potentially. Uh, Non-Avanto terminals, I mean. Uh, but... We're not really there immediately. He has really good draws. If he starts with that hunting party enough, it's not gonna make much of a difference what I do. Um, they'll just cycle too fast. He'll probably be clean here. It looks like he will be anyway. Um, I have to get... I guess there's a question of what... How you build here. So legionary isn't that great with the menageries. There's no buy. So you really just want to have a deck that hits eight pretty consistently. I mean, I could do cultists. <coughs> I think it's just a question of next turn, does he trash four cards? And if he does, then the cultists will never ever do anything. Um, so that's that's the problem. Uh, it does disrupt the hunting party a little bit, but so with one Avanta, that's something to think about. I would need money probably. I mean, I, I can try the legionary. So 
So that didn't quite work out. So here he's going to trash a bunch. I just, just didn't feel like I was going to win a junking war ever. This legionary may be pretty bad, but we'll have to see. One thing that's a little nice is that they, they can't actually guarantee the menagerie fires, though it's pretty likely to. Gotta buy a legionary, it's that legionary cage match. And I think he was drawing the deck even if, if I don't activate his menagerie, so. Now he gets clean. I am a little ahead on money stuff, I guess. He's got a lot more draw. Uh, I don't think he's going to get anywhere. With the cultist. Well, I don't want an amp sitting on top of my deck, so. Uh, I mean, I am less thin than him. So it's not not totally out of the question that the cultists might do something, but like if the first you know first turn he plays one rune, I definitely trash it. Next turn. So like first first turn I trash that survivors for sure. Um, so I didn't get any uh, I didn't get any village effect here. So I don't get to send a copper over, but that realistically that doesn't matter very much. Could buy province. I'm not quite ready for that. But I can, yeah, so like next turn he sends two that can trash both of those I am not seeing it myself maybe he's looking for plus buy that might be what he's doing he might be digging for plus buy Did he draw his deck last turn? He must have. Do I want to keep the copper around? 
not that good. If I want, I can ambassador some runes. Yeah, he must be digging for that, uh, digging for that ruined market. But if I have four provinces before he finds it, then he's going to be in real trouble. I wish he would just go, I don't know what he's doing. All right, now can anybody hear me in the Discord thing? Hooray. Okay. All right. So he gets his legionary. those trash the other one so we just kind of have to see if the deck holds on through the whole game well realistically four provinces is pretty good five is you know five is probably winning um, And I'm a couple, couple provinces up. So, and uh, this this turn is certainly going to make it around. This one, the attack is going to help a little bit. It means the menagerie will probably activate. It's hard. My deck has to really draw the whole thing. And, mm, maybe his turn dudded. I don't know if his turn dudded, but maybe a little premature on the resign. I don't really have enough draw. I only had like four draw cards, but the... Uh, I did have a real nice province lead there. So it was a hard points lead to come back from, but I could have easily dud it at least once. So. Okay, so there's 
sort of wonky draw tactician hireling but there is virtual coin a lot of it um there's not a great there's nothing great to compete i guess with like a double tactician deck so i think you can go with that and the secret passage helps that in various ways if you want to try a harvest Good banquet, I guess. That's a little weird. I think. I guess there's a question of whether you want to open with the doctor or not. I guess I'll try it, but yeah, I'd rather rather have that four three. But I do get an estate, so that's nice. And I hit five here, and I guess he has. I guess he flipped the Copper Estate hand. So I probably came out better on that one. Uh, I'm willing to start in on the Tactician already, I guess. Whew. He gets a triple estate, though. So that sucks. Now I can't Baron, I guess, but he can still just play Baron. Uh, I'm going to play the Tactician. He gets those sweet, sweet Aqueduct points. There's a Copper on top here, so I'll play that. Um... Pretty glad to have the tactician. I wonder if there's some opportunities for banquet plays in here. He's going to be clean right now. My legionary doesn't attack, of course, but I'm kind of hoping to buy, I guess, move into the sec the double tactician already, maybe, to see. I'm not really sure legionary is any good here, and it maybe is pretty bad, but, uh, okay, there's a couple of coppers, so we'll, uh, nine is pretty good. Could be a crown and a baron. I'll probably take the second tactician. may not actually care about attacking that much with the legionary hopefully we've got the tactician in this hand or it's top decked cross your fingers so if we don't have the tactician top decked it'll be pretty bad if it is then it's really really nice uh, I've actually done an okay on trashing four, I guess, four cards. It's not awful. At least it's not awful considering how many times I've played Doctor. He's in a lot better on trashing. He does not have a tactician. He still does not have a tactician. So that didn't work out, and that did not either. But I will get another crown. <clears throat> it's 
secret passage would be quite nice. I assume he must surely reach six to get a tactician here. Maybe he's not going to play with it. That would be really odd. I think quite a big mistake on his part if he didn't play with it. I suppose he could get two right now. He may get a gold. I don't like I said, I'm not sure gold's all that great, but if I get some lucky chances with the doctor, we may be okay. I'm jealous of the secret passages. I'm mostly jealous of the copper trashing. Huh. It was a little bit of a weird turn. So there are a bunch of coppers in there. Nice. This is a really nice turn for me. That was actually just perfect. I think there's a third copper, so it wasn't it wasn't quite perfect, but it was uh, more or less perfect. Only off by slope, just like a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think he's thin enough uh, here at this point that buying a gold doesn't make a lot of sense. I wonder if a higher lane will be any good. If you can get the draw, if you can get the card back another, oh, another Baron is nice. Probably have to crown the secret passage. Actually, I wonder if. Well, no, it won't matter. Okay, so we're clean. Silver's our discard. I have the same amount of money as last turn.
Should just be more crowns. Hirelings is a consideration. I didn't buy the border village, I didn't want to spend six on anything. Or I didn't and the math didn't work out for the six. Could be harvest. Uh you could you could certainly make a harvest work. Maybe next turn. The Baron may be a little questionable. But it's not a huge deal. A good chance the harvest was just better. Oh, the math didn't quite work out. There's a good chance the harvest was better. So, I mean, if he provinces now, we're gonna duchy dance for sure. I guess the doctor can be the discard. But eventually, province. So we'll probably have a chance to kill this silver some point so yeah I don't I don't really have the draw for the third Baron that was that was greedy Mostly it just doesn't work out, I don't think. Yeah, that is the trouble. Well, I can kill the silver, I guess. And I suppose I'll follow. So he has a points lead. Yeah, that helps a little bit, the aqueduct point. It's my sil from my silver opening, I guess. I guess there's a possibility he's really got a duchy dance I think maybe killing the silver was a mistake that takes away a bit of my threat that's not that's actually probably true because I could have, I think, quite easily gotten the duchy if I had. Well, in any case, I don't need to play tactician this turn, and I don't need to play, well, mostly just tactician. Uh, but I do need to get to G, so I need to get to 21, which means getting that Baron play in. Um, I 
or two estates works and I only need 20 I guess technically so the silver trash is probably a mistake but probably not a big deal Um. Yeah, I think I I think this is in hand more or less. It's not really true. Yeah, that silver trash was stupid. I guess I should stop and check at any point whether I have a win. So I can double three things. So I can get six, 12, 20. Oh, I can already win, can't I? Yeah, okay. I can even play the tactician. <clears throat> I guess the question is whether I want to win by duchy or, sorry, win by state gains or what. I think it was like really hard for me not to make it there. Uh, so I probably spent too much time, way, way too much time thinking about it. Because I think it was more or less in the bag. Uh, okay. There's a tiny amount of trashing in develop. And there is a pretty large incentive to use it in the fact that there's an engine with VP and there's a wall. So there's a way to score points that doesn't involve gaining cards. What is Wolfden? Oh, it's the one, one copy. Uh, I guess it's just going to be Silver Develop. Bizarre Split is pretty pretty important. I don't think Legionary is going to fit. You're not going to have the terminal space. So he opens with the Monument, which is alright, I guess. I wouldn't have done it, but he didn't collide, so it it's okay. He also goes to the Develop. I mean, maybe he's trying to develop the Monument. That's certainly one way to do it. Uh, we're gonna get a Margrave here, so he did get to do, he did get to do the developing. That was a quite a nice turn there for him. If he draws his Margrave, I will cry. Too bad I didn't draw mine. This is gonna hurt a bit. This is going to hurt quite a lot. Mm-hmm. So I could do the developing. I don't I don't want to. If 
Margraves me here. Okay, he doesn't. I'm just going to keep buying the bazaars because to me that's the story. Having bazaars is a nice draw for me. I think I have enough coppers that I don't need to keep one in hand, although it's possible. Did not manage to hit. Storeroom. I'm going to say no. He has got, he is much thinner. Or at least a little bit thinner. I mean, he must be right. The score is so different. That was sad. I don't know what the last card is. I should know. All right, there go the bazaars. Uh, I guess I'll play it. I don't. It didn't really help me, but there are enough villages in this shuffle anyway. So still, I think by nothing. some point this is trouble hopefully we find the Margrave We don't find the Margrave. We may soon be sort of out of it. I don't know that Mystics do a lot for you, so that didn't really work. We can develop though. We'll shoot. That was quite bad. It was quite good. He's got the deck drawn. I should have got a silver instead of this other develop. Fortunate, unfortunately, besides coppers, you can't really get rid of the other ones. So. You can kind of slowly change them into other things, but there will be we split the bazaars. There's definitely going to be pile out concerns. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced of the mystics, but whatever. You can't pile out real easily because of wall. Oh, this weird score changes are from Wolf Den. That's what those are from. I kept I couldn't figure why the score kept jumping so much when the develop stuff was happening, but it was Wolf Den. Anyway, it's hard to do the pileouts, especially the develop pileouts, because um, you get punished by wall pretty badly. That was not good. Um. <clears throat> I just need a turn where I get to play some develops. I don't just need that, but I need that on top of many other things.
He can buy provinces and have a more cushy points lead, or he can keep adding to his consistency. Well, I feel like my bazaars don't exist sometimes. Does he have another Margrave play to do? Realistically, I have to find the bazaar, it doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. I think he can buy the provinces. I don't think buying the provinces is great, but like he can do it and and still run the piles out probably without too much trouble. Of course, your initial duds are like super, super unlikely due to um, due to all the Margrave attacks that get thrown out. So when I trash this last copper, then the wolf den will go up, and also the estate. Okay. So, and I could buy a monument for a couple points because the wall cancels one of the points out. Um, I mean, ideally you'd want to play a couple monuments probably. I don't know, that's not really enough points per turn. That play works out a little better if you win the when the curse split, but if you don't, or not the curse split, the bizarre split, but if you don't, then that's not so inspiring. Well, it looks mostly hopeless anyway. We'll just see. See how it goes. Uh, depending on how many fours he has, he may just have a pile out. He would only need not very much. You only need like fourteen dollars on top of a dub excuse me, on top of a developed play. If he still has any monuments, uh, which he does have one. If he develops a monument into Margrave Develop, then he only needs fourteen dollars to end it, which I think he has pretty easily. So that should be a viable pile out here. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to play on, but it's all right. The game shouldn't be more than a couple more turns. So he's not gonna do the pile out, which is all right whenever you have a guaranteed win anyway. Ooh, and I didn't even didn't even find the last bazaar. That's painful. Can start doing fairgrounds, I guess. 
Don't know if I even have 10 cards. Ooh, he stalled once. It's a comeback. It's not really a comeback. Can I score 28 points in one turn? Nope. But I can score a few. <clears throat> How many uniques do I have? One, two, three. I still have an estate. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're not doing great on the unique front. But that's something we can fix at the end. Right. That's something to fix later. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With on Margrave, with on Margrave, nope, did not happen. Gardens might be okay. Could develop a develop into like Garden's Estate that gets rid of one unique and gets me another differently named card, and then I'd have to of course buy another buy another Garden's along with like a couple coppers or something. I mean, if I draw, if I play a lot of Margaret's, which I guess I'm probably only going to play two, maybe three, if I'm lucky. I don't really have the buys. So he's getting the Margrave. Well, that was lucky. Those were all very nice. Could also uh, develop the silver, of course. If we find the third Margrave, I'd be pretty happy. Nope. Okay, so uh, the deck's not huge, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's over 20. It's not 30, but it's over 20. The problem with the develop is... One problem with the develop is putting this garbage on top of the deck. Um, it's not a huge problem. Assuming we draw through it. So I got four fairgrounds. Dutchy would, excuse me, Dutchy would be the next unique for the fairgrounds, but it would also hurt the um, wolf den right now. I really need him to play a few Margraves here. That didn't quite work out. Uh, that's the question. Is there actually a good play here besides just Monument Pass? It's 
kind of looking like Monument Pass, isn't it? There's nothing. The work to get the fairgrounds to um, the work to get the fairgrounds to to six is is hard. Uh, I mean, copper curse are easy. Some of the things are easy, but not enough of them. I will develop the Margrave though. On that turn, I said he had a pile out. I'm not positive he did. I don't. Couldn't see his hand, but I thought with the cards he played, I think there was one. But who knows? I need another duchy, but that can come later. What am I at? One, two. So I'm three cards away from upping the gardens. And I need another duchy. That'll be a pretty good amount of points. He may have a pile out here. He also may just be able to buy province. Well, if I get to province, I might have a win. I need to keep my eye out for for that kind of play. Okay. Um, so, province gets me, well, I get up to 27 with the monument play, then I get to 32, then I develop. I might end up just being like a point short here. If I I don't know if I have two provinces. That's the question. I could kill the duchy, right? Yeah, I can kill a duchy, then that's just a win. Alright, that works. Fairgrounds gardens. Cool. Cause the duchy Oh no 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 no. That does not work. Um, but I could do the gardens right. That probably is okay. Okay, I did just have one province. So the province was already enough. Uh yeah, I should never have won that. So oh that was um 
not a game I should have won. And I think it is due to him missing a pileup. Among some, maybe some other things. The other things I'm not so sure about. Alright, so... I mean, I guess I'm not going to bother with... <clears throat> this is a weird bit weird. A bit weird. Well, I'm going to take this century opening because why not? Do some mill diplomat stuff. Maybe Jack. Play with everything but like apothecary doctor. And maybe not too many rabbles. I don't need another seller. Uh, this is safe to play both. Would be cool to get a jack. Do all three here and then and then play the uh, sentry. Do the sellers first. Hmm, the challenge here is the order in which to buy things, I guess. Jack is, is your forager fuel, I suppose. That was a nice turn. That was a pretty unfortunate draw, otherwise I would have been in a much better place. Hmm. Okay, this was nice. This is going to be a little bit of wheel spinning. This deck, but I don't I don't really think there's much better to do. He has a lot of mills. Well, I guess just three. He has one more mill than me. <laughs> he is not... I mean, the sentry is paying off these last couple turns where he just gets this kind of hand. Uh, I think he's maybe a little too hard on the mills. I'm not really quite seen. all of those being good the trashing here is starting to really really pay off for me I don't know I don't know if the legionary is worth it due to it sucking Potentially sucking. I'm going to trash his silver this turn. I don't know if I'm going to want to up apothecaries all the way if it's worth it to buy a 
potion. That's a little questionable. I'm really not sure. Here he has a nice turn. We'll see if he can use all three buys. He'll be able to use two of them at least. Uh, yeah, it's not really a, an amount to use all three buys. See if we can find the find the jack. So I can have 10 or I can have more than 10. So I guess I'll do the more than 10. <clears throat> yeah, definitely some wheel spinning. I'm not sure how to do this efficiently though. I really just want to do the potion because I you, you get the opportunity so rarely to do the super apothecaries that I feel I feel somewhat obligated to go for it. I did not find a mill. So this hand is a bit sad. Uh, I'm probably just trash a diplomat, right? Can rebuy it, but it was a little sad to trash the seller. He gets the second jack. I really have to do that, although it's terrible. This doesn't help me. I think there's a mill in there, so we'll leave it. He can't do five. So up to green now. I probably need another jack. Well, no, probably. This is, this is, uh, played a little sloppy by me. Should most most boards you should win if you have the five two century and they don't. Now there's other trash in here. It wasn't it wasn't uh it was not the whole story, but so you can lower the foragers because I can't I can buy four but I can't um get point get a points lead also. You know, you hope at some point that the silver's punish him the silvers and the coppers that are left still but uh, they may not I 
I still have enough food for all my foragers, though. Yeah, it's probably a lot simpler to just play with legionaries. That is, that looks about right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still three bucks and it's a lot less work than doing the forager stuff. Seems seems way better. You don't even have to get gold necessarily. You just need to uh, have legionaries that you kind of alternate with your diplomat plays. You still want a forager, but Feels like his draws were a little fortunate, but he has a lot. I mean, he has a lot of these pieces, so not, not overly. Just know he's still holding quite a bit of treasure still in the deck. I kind of expect at least a double province, if not the triple. That's that's all looks reasonable or right even. Oh wait, 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 wait. I forgot to play the diplomat. Hooray. Buying the potion is of course pretty silly when I bought the potion, but it's it's a little it's sort of fun. Uh do I want the copper? I might want a copper actually. Just go with one. Ooh, he dudded. Though not really. Or not duddy enough, I guess. Uh, I would need 20 to win, so I guess it's possible, but highly unlikely. No, do not want that. Can't trash a mill. I think there's still another diplomat left. <laughs> I mean, if I knew it was the top card, I could potentially make use of that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, 
we didn't we didn't quite get there oh no wait, we did because I did the math wrong <laughs> I counted the foragers as five dollar cards when they are just just not they do not cost that much well I should not have won that one either well I should have won it off the opening then I botched it up in the middle and then got lucky at the end legionary has not done much not at all here it is well the I guess one problem with legionary is that if there's another if there's another discard attack out and it's often less work to buy one copy of that. Well, it's always less work to buy one copy of that than to buy um, buy a bunch, buy a gold and a legionary. Embargo seems not that good. Man, I hate embargo. This is kind of the board where you, on the 5T, you think about buying one, but man I'd rather have the 4-3 I'd rather get the sea hag dungeon than what I'm gonna get which I guess is embargo go ship I mean it's it's right to buy the embargo but I mean I could I could open with the sea hag he bought a conspirator. That's really weird to me. Like really weird. I'm gonna draw the embargo because that's just the way. That's just the way this stuff works. But I did get a copper out of it, so I can get a dungeon. So it's all right. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. Are we? I don't get the uh, conspirator opening at all over Sea Hag. I mean, I'm not even sure I get the ghost ship opening over Sea Hag, to be perfectly honest. Maybe he is going to buy a legionary. One thing here, the gold is not a huge amount of work because of the... Um, see if he lets me take back the embargo. The gold is not work because of the governor. And the embargo doesn't matter so much because you can remodel stuff. Dungeons hid. Which sucks. Okay, I get to one. Hopefully this gets me to a five. Doesn't 
banner. We'll find out if he minds or not. <laughs> that did not work. If you remodels here, I'll probably toss a sea hag. I didn't play a dungeon, so. He is getting the labyrinth points. I don't actually care about. Though they will matter some. I guess I lost that uh, split pretty badly. The order to do that, gold then draw, is a little weird. More than a little weird, it's, it's quite weird. Buys a province, okay. Not good draws, not good draws. Pretty reasonable draws. I mean, not you can't expect much more than that. I may this is this is awful though to have the conspirators bottom deck and collide. <clears throat> and as far as this is going, it looks like I'm not even going to uh okay, I'll probably activate, but pretty bad.
A lot of gold. I should have put the sea hag up there, but it won't matter. I'll get to discard it later. Double province seems pretty safe. Oh, I didn't have a dungeon in play, I see. That makes a difference. Where is my grand market? It does not exist. Well, I guess I'll just buy a province. I mean, I can see it's not going to work on this board, but I could try and see if the game lasts a while. I've won a couple that way today. I don't have very good confidence in it as an approach here, since the point difference is going to be quite massive. Alright, so he didn't get to attack me. That's nice. It'll really be if we go for this long one, it's really going to depend on Silk Road. I would like another Grand Market, actually. It will totally depend on Silk Road. And it will also not work. But it might be fun. Could drum nothing. Fifty to six seems doable. Wait, <laughs> what did I say? Kind of start getting those duchies. I'm sure he has like three gold and a silver in there. He just... Oh no, oh no.
this and you just All right, I got those silk roads up. <sighs> A lot of cultist boards. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's space for legionary here after the attacking stuff but or the junking but the game may be pretty well decided charm looks really good just for city five things well it's okay I mean a lot of the cultists will be bought already five two is quite good I didn't uh, okay, I do manage to get to my cultist. It'll miss the shuffle, but that's still worth playing it before he shuffles. And also to get this cultist. Uh, this hand will only have four in it, so I guess menstrual. Could be could be another raise but so this will get me another cultist probably won't Stop buying the cultists until the ruins are gone. Which point we'll get a charm, probably, maybe just a city. Okay. That was a good, good draw. Uh. Okay, there's like three junk cards in there, so we don't need to play this. Oh, we can clean up the shuffle with the Ruin Library. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm way ahead. He kills a cultist, which is not too helpful. Uh, I gave him tower points, I guess. I didn't notice tower was on the board. I will trash this copper, although I have a... Uh, yeah, I'll play on. That was just like the best draw imaginable. And totally undeserved. If I lose this, it means I've done something horribly wrong. I guess we can play one of the ruined libraries. Trash the other one. I could have bought the gold there, but I wanted another city. I'll go for the gold this next turn.
That was a 5-2. Raise is such a good 2 on the 5-2. It's super good. I could continue with mods. It just like really good. Okay, uh, yeah, you can do Legionnaire here, although you can, again, just do Ghost Ship. Uh, Legionnaire hurts a little more, first the city quarter. I don't, I don't really like the Ranger opening. I really think I'd rather Silver Silver. The fives are so nice. And also city quarters, so nice. This sucks, but whatever. The only thing the ranger does for you, I guess, is get you to the mint a little faster, maybe. Um. Oh, it doesn't suck because the stone mason. I almost, I almost clicked too fast there. Do I want double apprentice or do I want something else? Hmm. Like a ghost ship is okay. Two. Double apprentice is pretty good though. I may take the city quarter now. It's it's too early for it, but third, I think probably worth it. I guess he's gonna mint, maybe. He's playing them slowly, so that's what it looks like. Like I said, that's the nice thing about the Ranger opening, but... Most of the other stuff is not all that impressive. I would like some stuff. Hmm. That did not play out how I wished. Could do another city quarter. Too soon, too soon. Can trash a copper. I did get through this garbage, so that's nice. You know, a lot of stone mason. Is this shuffle worth moving through? Has a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, how big was the other shuffle? How big is the discard, I guess? So it's three coppers, a silver, an apprentice. An estate or something. Yeah, it's too too much garbage. I could mint here. That wouldn't be out of the question. I am quite glad I didn't. What did he do? Just played as a ranger. Quite glad I didn't uh, go through that shuffle. That would have been would have been really terrible. So I could mint now, and I ought to.
I don't know what's left in here. I guess one estate, some coppers. So I can kill a silvers. What is meant when you buy or when you gain? I could kill the silvers too, although I'd have to get them back somehow. I'd have to get some money back somehow. So it doesn't it doesn't look worth it. I can buy a city quarter now. That's all right. Hopefully he doesn't find a ranger. Of course he does. I mean, his deck's small. This turn is going to be just pay two dead off and attack. So pretty sad. I feel behind. I don't know that I have anything going for me that he doesn't besides a second city quarter. We do need gold. No, we don't need to do legionary. That was nice to pick up the silver. It's actually a pretty fortunate ghost ship draw there. So now we're tied on the city quarters. He has these rangers, which are okay, but not like crazy good. I don't know that there's any really nice stonemason stuff to do at this point. There may be there may be something worth doing with villa pile outs later on. <clears throat> Or even just uh, whenever. Hopefully these silvers don't punish me too badly. I would not mind having some rangers. I can just apprentice a silver, right? Could apprentice port also. It's not like the port is. Uh, I don't need the village. Do I have the market? I have the market. So we're all clean. My draw is likely to be pretty subpar this turn. The worst thing would be finding city quarters here with no actions, more or less, which is certainly possible. I mean, I could just stop. I could just stop here. Since I know there's I would like a gold. So I know there's lots of actions in here. Okay. He does something similar. How how cute of us. Okay. Uh need to mint this guy. I need to stone mace in it. Do we want to bother with the legionary? Probably not right now. If 
that's a turn where there's probably bigger things that were possible to do. I don't know if they were worth thinking over, but there were uh, very likely a lot of plays that I could have made. I'm not sure I really want to keep all this garbage. Okay. Um... Yeah, that was that was probably a little weak. I mean, I'm overdrawing and I didn't really use it all, so there's almost guaranteed to be some something nice I could have done there, uh, as opposed to what I did, which was not not really that great. I will. On my turn again, it's probably going to be time to look for three piles, at least jacking. I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to apprentice the ghost ship. We'll have to regain either a legionary or a ghost ship. I could apprentice the ranger too. That might be better. I should have apprenticed the gold, I guess. Uh, although I really want to mint gold. I could have just played ghost ship. I mean, I still can. I can just play ghost ship and buy or and pay debt. Hope he doesn't fire off again. And basically, I'm gonna draw two cards past the treasures. I don't know three card three cards past the treasure, so. I mean, the odds of me firing off are quite small. Pretty crappy, actually. Um, there may have been three piles in my last turn. It would have been kind of hard to do, though. Buy two golds in a villa. I mean, I hope he does. He's got eight treasures now. So that was bad. I'm going to stay debt free here. Hopefully he doesn't find a ranger. Nope. Yeah. So we're probably sunk here. I can port, or I can stonemason. I can stonemason a port and get stonemasons. That doesn't really make any sense. I can just buy a stonemason though.
have to admit that I think it's it seems likely that he had a pile out maybe it doesn't look like he's really looking for it but he's also way ahead though, though he didn't score any points really so if he had if I had drawn here I think I could manage it it's just twelve dollars to get the ports and it's pretty pretty much nothing to get the other stuff um, so maybe he dudded Maybe not. still don't have the city quarter well with that being the case since all the city quarters hid I don't know if there's any way out of that really with that shuffle I mean, it's not like cost reduction or something, but it's a lot of gains. Alright, we have the token, but there are no buys. I mean, there are no... No, uh... I guess a haggler silver could open with uh, mine just to be terrible. Are there any three type cards or just twos? Not the best driver. <clears throat> Legionary should be good here with encampment as well. You you want to have some gold. 
I'm not sure silver is worth it over, say, uh, just opening with the candlestick maker. This is not good. This is decidedly bad. For a draw. He gets five, I guess. Yeah. Well, this was much better. So hit five again. That sucks. For me. <laughs> Does not suck for him. Here I'll go gold hunting party. Mine looks just not not good. I don't I don't think it's any good. We're gonna draw the throne room here. I don't know why you wouldn't go for gold already. It doesn't make any sense not to upgrade the silver to gold. There, I mean, okay, the uniques. So that's the only thing, but. Uh, I don't actually want the candlestick maker. This necro is not behaving. Not necro, the throne room. Throne room sucked. It sucked twice. Surely you intend to get encampments and stuff, so why why are you not getting goals? I mean it's I mean I get it. I, I already had this discussion with myself. There's some unique considerations to make with Hunting Party, but it does not at all seem like a thing worth considering. I would like to clean this shuffle up some, so that was... Uh, so I can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. I don't need that much. I guess I can triple throne room encampment. That's pretty good. Though, getting the legionary would be really good now. Hmm. These five cards are garbage. It's like four coppers and like one action card or something. Ugh, ugh, ugh. No good, no good. The mines for 
wonders now. That's going to be pretty cool. I think Courtier is really bad here. For as a terminal. It's not necessarily terminal. Actually, terminal issue isn't really a big deal, but throne rooms have got to be better. I don't know what the, I don't understand what the courtier is doing for you. I didn't like there he didn't have to not get he could have played well maybe he didn't have the mine yet but okay so right he had a mine so he could have got a gold and not return the encampment I don't I don't get it I do not get it I'm going to get, I'm going to draw terribly. Why would you buy a gold? It doesn't, you can make a gold. Why would you buy a gold? I don't get it. Um, seems like too too much, too much trying to be clever. Uh, so bidding. The money is not a huge issue. He can probably. I guess I'll take it. Starting, well, he got a lot more hunting parties. I mean, who cares about plunder? It's like the game's not going to last that long. actively worse than gold I think just from a pile control perspective the game won't last a long time I say the game won't last a long time and then it will but uh, legionary is going to punish me I mean the big thing here that he did right of course was to get the hunting parties which was just a matter of drawing fives or not so he already did the he already did the most important thing on this board so I shouldn't uh, 
That'd be too critical. Though I dislike, like, almost all the terminal space choices and buys. We probably, like, a second haggler is just way, 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 way better than a courtier. And probably best of all would be like a I don't know. Alright. I really need like a throne room. Hopefully he stalls out some as he grinned pretty hard again. Duchy's pretty awful. have encampments left in this which is nice something to be said for copper buys Maybe. There's a good chance that this is just uh, letting him pile out, but I feel like I need to go for it a little bit. Uh, So he should Well he may not be able to end it. Though he might get there with the iron longer. My trouble is my encampment is just dead. Or I guess my trouble is the pile out's harder if I have to return the encampment. Though I might have something with fine duchies. He should have a pile out since he drew the whole thing. And he has like a million dollars. I mean the mine over the course of the game, the mine gave him a lot of economy. So that ended up being pretty useful. I don't know that it, I don't know that it does more work than Hagglers, but 
he can he should be able to get his fountain points too. Oh, he can just empty the provinces. Though he should be able to get his fountain points too. He did not he did not maximize points there. Which does not matter at all. Okay. Probably well, let's see what the player order. So I started, okay. I think I started the first one. No, he did. So maybe last two. Looks like amulet, amulet to me. Not you don't have to do the double amulet. You could take a silver, <laughs> but I'm gonna. I would not take squires here at all. I mean, you can do. I guess the idea would be that you can. trash it for a legionary I don't know dang it this sucks I don't get the squires they look bad to me so I don't I don't follow that in the least bit <clears throat> I mean a goodbye right that's not that good My governor missed, which sucks. I mean, I guess he was just waiting to do the... I really need to play one of the amulets. Guess he's ahead on trashing, but quite a ways behind on good cards. But it's not bad to be ahead on trashing. So I'm doing just fine on trashing. Just a couple cards behind. Soon to be none. Oh.
Fortunately, there are no fours, so the remodel opportunities are pretty crappy. The opponent ones, at least. So I could ditch this amulet for another five, or I can get one more trash out of it. I'll do another trash. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's okay for silver gaining as well. Uh, this is... I'm in a position here where if I don't win, it means I did something really bad I should be able to gain like a lot of fives on my turn and he's still not yeah that's really not ideal if you're If you're doing that with your amulets, I'm not saying it was wrong. I'm just saying it's not not really what you want to see. I didn't didn't like the squire bias. Would have just taken vagrants if he had exactly two. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna pot, I'm gonna keep going here on royal carriages until they're gone. Um, for sure. Well, first the governors, of course. Now I want the buys. Um. All right. So without seeing all his draws, I don't know if I just got really lucky or what, what the deal was there. But I was really lopsided. I had amulet collision once, which is not, not that big deal. Um, hmm. So this is not, not the easiest board to build on. You can either try alchemist into legionary stuff or you can do like wharf. I guess mainly wharf. I'm going to play, I don't think there's time for the, the alchemist. He forgot to play his treasure. I guess I'd just do a lot of expeditioning and playing wharfs. Not sure. Get three wharves and then treasure. Just hope you don't draw don't draw both wharves here. One is fine, but two is not acceptable. I'm going up to gold. I mean, if I hit like a five, five copper hand, I guess I would take the mint as he has here. I suppose I had a five copper hand, didn't I? And I chose not to. I don't know that mint is actually any good here. I could do it now. You're never going to play the mint. 
so it's just a question of whether that amount of trashing is is good so if I do this I'd have two coppers gold um, I'm gonna try without the trashing. Just, just play a classic wharf money. He has no money. I don't know if I have a wharf left in my deck or if that was the one I just drew through. I have three, so there should be one. Maybe I'm confused. Oh, there's treasure maps. I didn't see the treasure maps. I can't say that I'm persuaded by them. I guess I should be clear. I'm not persuaded by the treasure maps at all. <clears throat> So he bought it. Well, he could have just had one of the. I'm just going to try and province expedition a lot and be at. Uh, be at about. be at whatever four provinces pretty soon <clears throat> three provinces yeah here the wharves disappeared but that's okay I guess if he can double province I lose he's got a double duchy now So now if he double provinces, which he did not play wharf, so that would be pretty lucky. Here I have my province. And basically half the VP. So I don't think I played it too cleanly either, but I didn't like what he did. I had better draws at the start to hit the silver after my borrow turn and he didn't and I don't really like the expedition buy, but whatever. His opening expedition buy. All right, so that's the match legionary. Uh, legionary was not used a lot. Uh, but legionary is good. Uh, it's it's mandatory when you don't have other options for dis. Thank you all for listening and for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.